Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. My name is Bear. I'm having a bit of a gaff, a bit of a laugh this week. Before I break that down, though, let me break down what's going on in the estate. Half off stress relief and sanitarium activities this week, so we got quite a few people committed. That's Postel in there getting rid of some stress along with Bullbeck and Dererick here. Removing the disease and in the tavern is Malvis and Ramanel taking care of business. I, uh, I upgraded the stagecoach, so that's where most of our money went this week. This is now up to 25. And I took a couple of members of that stagecoach off, and this is what I came up with. That right there. That's our crew today. The highwaymen, as it were. I'm justifying this by saying that I really don't have that good of level 3 and 4 compositions right now. We're really lacking frontliners. We have an abomination, but I really don't have anything to pair him with. So, he's, he's like a fine wine, right? I, I need a, a fancy cheese to go with my leaping abomination. And we need the occultist to be our fancy cheese. We need him to be up there and available with these squads. So I'm trying to get that to become a reality here. And I picked up a couple of lambs to the slaughter in the form of these highwaymen. I'm not expecting them to fail. I'm not expecting them to die either. But it is unfortunate they, they are level zero and... Uh, not really upgraded in any meaningful way. I've given them their default skills because I really don't want to invest in them too much. I don't assume that I'm going to use them for longer than a single mission. I just needed them to make something work at this lower level to be able to do this. And it does, it's kind of funny too, you know, like playing video games for fun. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! No, that's, uh-uh, not around here. No siree. Alright, trinket breakdown though. We got the four leaf clover and the stalwart buckle giving him a lot of crit chance up here up front. Uh, same deal with this guy actually, weirdly enough. The Uri Highwayman is uh, sort of a utility build. He's looking to get the benefit from the Macer's hat to be less surprised along with the Ancestor's map to give us more trap disarm and scouting chance. Then the Occultist with this new trinket, the Demon's Cauldron. Extremely valuable for him right now with the Abyssal Artillery up at level 3, you get an extra stun chance with that. So it's uh, quite nice. And the Feather Crystal to hopefully allow him to heal before things get too shaky. I think we're ready to go, though. Let's do it. I was worried about... Uh, see, I was considering going into that Long Cove mission today as well. I was worried about whether or not I was going to be able to afford provisioning properly for that. So I, I held back. I'm deciding that this is going to be a little bit more valuable for me. I'm worried still about how much it's going to cost. And I think I'm just going to make sure I don't bring anything completely unnecessary in order to uh, kind of tame my uh, my fears there. But it is still quite expensive. Hopefully it doesn't go too terribly. Could have still brought a couple more torches there, I think, too. I've been, I've been very conservative about those, about the keys. The shovels I have no problem bringing a full stack of. But those two things I'm a little bit more hesitant about. All right. Three shrines. We know we got to go up through here, so we might as well start now. Let's do it. This is going to be real fucking fun, man. I, I'm still not 100% sure what all my approaches are going to be for this. I know marking targets is actually going to be pretty nice. I've got all three of them with a pistol shot, which of course benefits from the marked target to get, get a little bit more damage going. Damage over time is going to be terrifying. At this level, I don't anticipate it being too bad, but I've seen, I've seen problems quickly arise where I did not think there would be many. Let's keep this going, though. And uh, I guess we can just Demon's Pull to finish that off. We'll go for the point blank shot because it makes sense. I guess the knockback is good. And that is, uh, that's the extent of it. Okay. That is our capability. And that is not anything that gives me a ton of confidence right out of the gate. Exposed to a killing blow. Stress obviously is going to be a huge issue too. I don't want to be entirely offensive minded here with my uh, occultist just because I can't really, oh my god. I cannot afford to do that. That's for damn sure. But I can't really afford... To use his offensive skills without without adding on f more stress to our team, obviously. So that's a big issue. I need him to heal effectively as well. That's clearly not something I can allow to happen for very long. And that is a bad bleed to start off with. My goodness. My goodness, man. Oh, and don't stun him for the love of God. Thank you. Okay, we've got the speed boost, right? There we go, another heal for two with a bleed on top of it. Thank goodness that's not the case. How about we get a good old-fashioned kill on this guy? Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. My god. Oh, Jesus. That is not... That is not good. 
how how has this gone so poorly against three people to start off with? That is real frightening. I need a good heal to get out of here with. There we go. All right, that's not too shabby. Oh, hey, look, we get a crit chance too. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Which is kind of what we're banking on. Didn't get any luck so far though. That's all right. All right, I gotta remember which one is the uh, the frontliner too. Yeah, we got one, two, and three. I did that on purpose. Hopefully I can remember. I can also just do that button, I guess. Makes sense. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. I will absolutely use a small dagger here, although actually, you know what? A torch might be a little bit more beneficial, but I think I'd rather get the money out of it if I can. A fortune waiting to be spent. Small poem is also quite nice. The learned female in our company snuck some of this liquid into the... I thought that said alone, maybe no, learn. Into the Sarah's drink around the campfire last night. It was, as she told me, an experiment. He woke up with poor humors the following morning, though I felt no desire to speak up about her activities. I inquired about what she had hoped to obtain, though she shrugged off the question. She looked oddly amused the rest of the day. It's just a prank, bro! You gotta relax, bro. It's just a prank. It's just... We're just pranking you. You gotta calm down. It's for YouTube. I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to be new money. I'm trying to be that new media wave, baby. I've been watching uh, Stephen Fry Does America. Watch your step. He's got. He's he's investigating all that old money down in the South, man. They got old money down there still. I didn't even know. They got like shit from the 1800s. People still live in those houses, man. That's crazy. The, the families have not left, which I don't know why that baffles me so much. But yeah, bear people people tend to live in the houses they grew up in. That's that's sort of a thing that happens. In radiance, may we find victory. These are like, man, like, oh, old-timey stuff. Talking about, like, cotton plantations and stuff like that. It's cool. It's interesting. I like, I like learning about the history of the country from a man who hasn't lived here. I, it sounds sardonic, but I mean it serious. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool perspective. I try not to sound sarcastic. There we go. All right. Well, you're clearly in a bad spot. Let's try to fix that right away. Hey, that's a good heal. Man, that's unlucky. That has been really bad so far. Stun and debuff resistance. Luckily, I'm not depending on that at all. Let's get you out of harm's way again, even though you are still kind of vulnerable. I don't have any sort of... Oh, shit. You know what? Grape shot is tempting here, but I really want to get a kill, too. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. There we go. My god. I need a duelist advance on that guy. I need a way to... Oh, man, these bleeds are just fucking gnarly. I need a way to get the guys up front. Jesus, stop that. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. It's either a good heal and a bleed or a, a no heal at all. So, I mean, I guess I'd rather take the good heal in that case. But Jesus Christ, that's getting bad. Five per three. Holy shit. Oh, or five, four, three, I should say. There, hey, look, we're bleeding the fucking pigs out. Can we get another heal off, please? No, another drum of doom, my god! I'm not even prioritizing targets at the moment. I'm just trying to keep people alive, but... Really, the stress damage is becoming an issue quite quickly. There we go, a little bit of relief at least. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, well, I'm thinking it's probably going to be campfire time pretty shortly on here. Oh, I think I'll just go ahead and use our other dagger as well. Why not? That's some stress relief if I get a small poem from it. With each return, I, a creature of habit, sit upon the bar stool and utter a word or two of thanks to the tender. His callous mannerism seemed to be aimed not at us, but of the man who tasks us with our quest. We're all misfits. He's very much aware of how we are being taken advantage of. I've always been nimble enough to dodge these little guys, but I did watch as a night of ours was entangled. The screams and fear alone were enough to warrant the drinking of the finest fermented rice my wage could afford. Well, I don't like hearing it like that. Fermented rice. Ew. That's yucky. I am still healing for sure. I can't depend on anything but full health at this point and hopefully no more further bleeds and all the damage needs to go on one target here I can oh well hold the phone though reposts actually are quite nice 
I'm just now realizing. That's a ferocious cutthroat as well, though, and he's got very little resistance. All right, there's one down. How about a deceitful shot from the backliner? That way we can get some damage done back here. I kind of like that. Marking the target probably doesn't do anything. He might be more prone to go for that guy. That's good shit right there. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, didn't bleed again, but we are still stacking up that stress pretty high. Keep doing this. Oh my god, come on now. There's another riposte. Beautiful. Love the dodges here. Oh, come on now. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Keep that up. The ground quakes. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, now can we maybe double point blank to knock this guy out? Or deceitful again. I don't hate that. Get a much higher chance at a crit happening as a result of that, I believe. Ooh, maybe a crit here, too. Ah, shit. Okay, well, that means he is much more likely to die from a repost, at least. Let's see it. Hell yes. Love the dodges. Okay, very good. We actually get away with uh, using the... The uh, offensive skills of the occultist, although I'm wondering whether or not I should. I think I might be better off doing this and not adding on further stress to these guys, because this guy's going to die anyway. Just like that. There we go. We're getting some spread out damage here, but that is the least of my concerns, I think. A trifling victory. Hmm. But a victory nonetheless. I don't think I dare take that right now. I'm looking at a campfire pretty damn soon here. If not right now. So this is not exactly my smartest move, I don't think. Oh, hey, there we go. Absolutely got to go this way, unfortunately, and I... Oh, God, you know what? I don't think I can chance this. I got to go ahead and pop a campfire real fast, take care of this stress, and then head down there. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horror. I know I've got bandit sense on somebody. There we go. And now gallows humor is a pretty damn good option. I think I'll go ahead and try that out. All right, that's a pretty good result. I'll take that. Everybody's feeling pretty awesome as a result of that. I got four respite left. Clean guns is a... Decent, decent buff here. Unparalleled finesse might even be worth it, but what else could we do? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I guess this is pretty good. I can knock him to the back and then only use his pistol shot for a little while. This does, that does impact point blank as well, though, and he's got three out of four range skills. So as long as I remember he's got this, it is pretty useful. I think I'll go ahead and take that buff. We'll call that good. As the light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. And again, I do have to go this way. I've got way too many curios down here to ignore, so we just got to take our chances with these fights. Let's see it. They're going way too fast, man. We need to we need to make sure we're getting these dodges coming after a repost activation. Otherwise, we're missing out on a ton of a ton of benefits. Leading one of these two would be pretty wise. I think I'd like to set him up to die from the point blank as well. Abyssal is pretty goddamn good here. I suppose I can afford the stress. Let's just take it. Because he can just kill them both. And oh god, the stun too. I forgot about that. That's so good. And Deceitful is also awesome. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Pretty good position now. Really hoping I get the point plate off first. Very nice. Annihilated. Actually, would have one shot him. That's fantastic. And now I just have to deal with that guy. Okay, absolutely want to take a heal after this. Oh, got a bleed on him too. Okay, hopefully that doesn't stack up. Repose for the kill. Perfect. All right, don't even have to worry about this guy. He's probably going to die from the co collective damage of these two. Uh, I don't know, man. How about we just do this advance? Yeah, that's probably better. And then hopefully a bleed from this guy is enough to take him down. Absolutely heal up. Please don't bleed him again. Just clockwork, baby. Just fucking clockwork. We're gonna leave you alive. We're gonna focus everything on this guy. Bleed would kill, I believe. Nice. And now we can just... Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, there we go. Good shit. A death by Unfortunately, still have to deal with this. That's kind of nice to have, but I'll probably have to get rid of it pretty quickly. I'm gonna let this bleed go down and then use this potion and hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. It's probably pretty valuable. Come on now. Come on now. I will take that. What do we uh, dump off for this one, though? How about... Ooh, that's worth 500 gold. Let's get rid of that. I'm not using any anti-venom here. 
One more bleed round, and then we go ahead and pop this thing. Although, I may, I'm going to have to go to the fight first, and that's no good. Inspirational Drummer, there's not a lot of damage coming out of these guys. I can also do a lot from this. I was really hoping for a crit from that. I even clicked the mouse with determination. We'd get, ooh, we get a double stun. That's real nice, too. Deceitful Might, ooh, is that close enough to the damage necessary? Not quite there. Grape Shot is tempting here. I haven't grape shot in a long time, I gotta tell you. Feels nice to do it. Feels nice to do it every now and then. They lost some dodge chance, too. Ooh, I need some healing. He's regenerative. Oh, boy. I didn't see that. And there's the Blight. Right after dumping off the Anti-Venom. Right on cue. Open vein on this guy. Enough to get the kill. Do I want this, or what's the better play? I'm worried about stress, so I think I should do this. But a stack of Blight would be pretty nasty on you, too. I mean, I'm already pretty worried about him. Destroy. So let's knock out a target. Hopefully get a big heal off. There goes that bleed, luckily. That's a good... Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. He's fine. He's fine. I can live with this. Oh, great dodge, too. Okay, now we're out of... Out of the woods, more or less. And we can hopefully get just right on in here and get the kill. Very good. Pistol shot might be enough here, too. Oh, he doesn't have it, but he does have this! Love the versatility, man. These nightmarish Damn it. creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. That is inconvenient. Okay, gotta go to here. I may not go to the end of this hallway. I'm considering just going ahead to the end and uh, doubling back if it doesn't look like it's gonna be valuable enough for us. Alright, that's good. I've got extra disarm chance on you, I believe, so let's just go ahead and take that. And it's not a shrine, but we do have an herb, right? Did I bring an herb? I didn't bring an herb, but doesn't matter because we still have to do it anyway. Okay, luckily we resisted that. I still think I'm going to do this, actually. Oh, scurvy! Oh, shit. Loss of speed. Lead resistance down. Okay, I don't want to go in here. Let's just back up. It's not going to be too much. Still got a good amount of torchlight. We're going to be going through a hall hallway we've already lit up. And we've got scouting out to here, which is obviously quite nice. I do probably just have to go this way. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Oh, boy. I feel okay. This is an okay start. I mean, we're not running into any horrible emergencies so far. I've got a good amount of food left over. Plenty of torches. we got the second campfire until... I've even got trap disarm if I want to add that on, which I probably should in this next hallway. So I should just actually utilize that for its full advantages and I don't want to hold out for a collector so let's just go ahead and use one of these now that's pretty good and uh, this I wonder how long this lasts I think it's for like four rounds or something so I'll just use this now two battles oh sweet that's awesome and one torch perfect that was a good secret room man I love it when it's just so perfectly organized like that don't have to make any hard decisions or anything. Are often low on supplies. There we go. Basically guaranteed trap disarm at this point, and uh, I think I'll just keep this light up about radiant. Sounds good to me. Okay, nice and smooth through these hallways. I like it. That's okay too. It actually uh, takes care of a little bit of the uh, healing issues we needed. I'll do this as well. I think that gives him a buff. Accuracy and crit chance, which is really nice. Hello! There we go. Take it down. Decimated. Pop another torch. I'm down to five. Oh, that's unfortunate. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. I don't think this is a battle either, so we're gonna have to deal with that bleed, unfortunately. I am gonna have to go this way too. You add your dagger to the rack. It makes you feel good about yourself. Oh, just kidding. You're bleeding to death. You're an idiot. Why'd you do that? Why'd you go do go and go and do a fool thing like that, Bear Tavy? Goddamn dumb idiot. Alright, I'm nearly out of torches now, too. Oh, hey, that's fun. Free shit, hooray! Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. More than happy to use a shovel here. I absolutely need to check out the curio. I might go to the treasure room. That's a little unfortunate, actually. I can totally afford that. Okay, tell me I needed to go here. I want to see a shrine. That is not a shrine, and that's not anything I want to touch anymore. I don't want to bleed everybody out, just like one by one, say, Hey, try playing with these daggers, see what happens. 
Oh god. Uh Yeah, I really I can't go to that treasure room. I got to back up here and then 12 food. Another hunger tile kind of fucks me right now. I've only found one shrine. This is not going at a pace I was hoping for. This is going at a much slower pace, at a much scarier pace. One that makes me think I might need to find food to actually survive, and I've had to double back three times already, which, God, this layout can just blow me. Really not looking forward to the rest of this. Tell me it's right here. No, God, all right, and he's gonna do it. I should have brought herbs, man. That was a misplay. I needed some herbs in here. And I need to get this torch light up. So that means every single one, right? I think it does, which means campfire light for the remainder. A blazing star is born. Surprise on the wretches is very helpful. Hopefully I get a big heal here. Very nice. I'm gonna need one more than that, especially now with this fucking bleed coming through. And then, uh... Now, let's not do something stupid here. Let's just make sure these guys die, so... There's a bleed, which means a grape shot on any from anyone would have been nice there, but sadly not gonna happen. Oh, I could have point blanked that guy too. That's that's kind of foolish of me, actually. So what am I gonna do here then? Oh god, this was a complete waste. Obliterated. That was a misplay, a misplay. At least I got the crit though. I just avoid disease so I don't feel like a big dumb doofus. He only needs a deceitful shot. Avoided damage entirely. There's stress on the occultist, though. Alright, so don't have to do anything else to him. Please just avoid it one more time. Thank you very much. He's done. I gotta heal this fucking guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now just one more dodge. Life is good. Life is pride and happiness and joy. One more bleed for the road home. Okay, we might even get another heal off, actually. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, bleed him up! Alright, there we go. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That herb may come in handy. May be very happy to have spotted that here. I'm getting some easy fights, at least. I mean, I'm certainly not taking that for granted here. It's not throwing the the house at me right now. Ooh, double kill. Executed with impunity. Bitchin! Let's just take this guy out too. Yeah, bleeding down. Perfect. I mean, I guess I could have just done that again. I really got to pay attention to that, man. That's that's kind of fucking me up. Another one falls. That's what I've been wanting to do. Seize this momentum. Mm. Push on to the task's end. Uh, ooh, we did get the scout, okay. My god. Ew. How about... I mean, we might not need this shovel, but then again, if I do, I'm gonna feel like a fool. Well, no, I, I mean, I need it to go that way, so yeah, we do have to have at least one. Oh boy, oh boy, how about the one crest? Is that... that makes a little bit of sense, I guess. I guess. Now, the cultist health is a little alarming. His stress is up there, too. But I think we'll be okay. I might even be able to double kill these guys with an abyssal artillery. Now, remember, I've got a point blank shot. Don't just waste shit on this guy. Stop attacking the front, and there's the scurvy. Everybody gets scurvy today. This is still pretty good. Decimated. Hey, no, you know, that's, that's okay, I guess. That's acceptable. Oh boy. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Yeah, fucking campfire number two is going to be coming up real quick. That is helpful too, though. And now, please, he's dead. There it is. Oh, magnificent. Fucking fantastic. How about another one? All right, that's some stress relief that I sorely needed here. Very happy about that. As victories mount. So, too, will resistance. I'm just gonna... Yeah, you can fuck off. Yeah, campfire may have to happen right after this fight. I'm... I'm kind of banking on it, but... That would put us in a bad spot, unfortunately. Ooh, yeah, we definitely want to take this double stun attempt right here. Abyssal, please! Get them both. Get them both. Yes! God, it's so good, and I get to kill him now. 
Another hit on you is nearly there, and hopefully these point blanks are sufficient, although they may not be. Ooh, it knocked him back, though. What do I want to do with this guy? I guess just do that. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Okay. I'm worried about his hit. But that was just about as good as I could have hoped for from there. I'm okay with him spreading out the damage here, too, so long as bleeds don't happen. That's good. Okay, I want to I want to act before he does. That's all. That's all I ask. And now, Demon's Pull, right? Four damage. Yeah, that works. Clears the corpse. Do I need to heal? Probably not. I want to prevent disease ahead of healing, actually. All right, that's fine. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Weirdly okay with this. Weirdly okay with this. Everything's kind of bad, but also kind of good. We got a lot to look forward to. Coming into this, uh, coming into this campfire. Hopefully he doesn't go before we do. I doubt that'll happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get there. Yes. Good shit. All right, he's done. We're out of here. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. And I need to make space. So that's going to be... Didn't get another scout. I guess it's this. Yeah, that's, that's got to be it. Shit. All right, yeah, I have to do this. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. More or less the same play. I've got to prevent the ambush. I love this maneuver again. Oh, I love it even more now. And how about one more attempt at that, actually? No, I don't have it. All right. All right, fine. But I will do double encourage, I think, because that is still quite nice. So let's get that, and then let's do that. And we're mostly taken care of. Okay. Now I need a little bit of a heal right. on the occultist. The promise of safety. But otherwise, looking pretty good. Ooh, yeah, fuck off. Fuck off entirely into your own personal hell. There we go. Four food, one hunger tile. I would love to find at least one shrine in this hallway. Otherwise, it's a giant waste of my life. and may result in me having two hunger tile activations going this way. We'll see. Man, I love the Maester's hat. That has just carried us with these surprise attacks. I love it. And there's his heal that we desperately needed. Okay, grape shot tempting, but I'd much rather actually do something valuable here. Oh, man, but what is that very thing? What do I need to do? Bleeding him, I mean, if we bleed him, it works tremendously, but it is dependent on him bleeding. I might still be able to kill him with this. Masterfully executed. All right, that was probably worth it. I do have to deal with one vomit. If that adds another bit of disease, I suppose it's not that big of a difference anymore. They were already rocking the scurvy. And that's kind of okay, too. All right. We're going to be fine. I don't need a heal. Weaken this guy, I suppose. Because he does have a little bit of protection, and that helps us out a little bit. God, that stress is just little tiny bits are going to pile up really quickly here, too. Am I def I'm going to have to heal that, aren't I? Yeah, that's a bleed. All right. So what's the play? Kind of was hoping for a crit. He can pistol shot from back there. I can point blank again, obviously. Then he can point blank next turn. Ooh, knockback. All right. Obviously heal. Please don't do anything. Please don't do anything. All right. Healed up. God damn, man. So much. Okay, and he... That mark ended up helping out, weirdly enough. There we go. Oh, goodness. Come on now. Come on now, boys. We got this. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And yet another not correct curio. And he's now bulimic. He got bulimia from reading a scroll. Man, these ancient texts sure do make me want to vomit up my lunch. Let me tell you. I also have no more torchlight, so that's a big issue, obviously. I probably should have brought at least, like, two or three more of those. We're going into the Warrens. I, I really ought to be more prepared than that. Torch is now... Yeah, like, it's with the with the backpack interaction and the, uh... The, use the torch on the extra torch and you get one, obviously. That's a good one, too, but... 
There is a lot more to do with them. I need to I need to bring a lot more, I think. Like two stacks maybe on the medium length dungeons, which seems like a lot, but might be necessary. Now obviously a hunger tile activation is gonna be horrible for us. Much worse than mere trickery and I had an herb for that. That was kind of a dumb idea not to use it. Oh, and I didn't see that either. Jesus Christ, really lucky there. Okay, hey! <laughs> Good old bear taffy! We're out of the tail end, gonna fuck everything up. There's a curio. Are they both right here? That'd be real nice. It's almost- it almost has to be at this point, right? Did I miss it or what the fuck's going on? It's not in here, is it? Jesus Christ, if it's in there, I'm obviously fucked. No force of will can overcome a failing body. There's the last shovel. Good God, is it actually all the way at the end? Here's one. Holy shit, man, I am boned here. I'm gonna do this double stun, of course, because that's just tremendous, but... This is getting scary. I need to point blank. Oh, God, and I didn't heal him, so really lucky there, too. He's a level zero, so at this point, I'm kind of okay just sacrificing these guys in the name of the animalistic shrines, but... Obviously, I'd like to keep them alive. Seven damage. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Avoided another one. Very nice. Need to get a heal on him next turn because that Abyssal is only valuable, or only extremely valuable the one time, I think. That's too big of a risk. Let's just bleed this dude. Or attempt to. Oh god, one more damage there. Alright, not too bad. Now that he's in the front, he absolutely needs it. Let's just go for it right now. Yeah, perfect, man. Thank you. God, that's just beautiful. Absolutely what I needed. Blow. What a fantastic result that was. Boy, oh boy. Mark and debuff, okay. Nah, we're gonna be alright. We're gonna be alright. I mean, we're gonna live. I'm not gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alive. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. There we go. Hey, let's just crawl on our hands and knees through this last hallway. See what fucking devilish horrors lie within. Wish I had a torch. Oh, the good key. Is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Oh, good. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That's fucking great. <laughs> Jesus fucking hell. Why? The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Where is it? Is there another battle? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Get out of here, man. Holy hell. What an I uh, I don't even know what to say. The very end of the dungeon. He needs one more to go. One more. And then he'll be ready. Y'all are just you're trash people, you know that? Tron Tron Chant. More like trash can, that's where you're going. Twisting tunnels no longer exhale the toxic stench of degeneracy. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh boy. I mean, we need to fix him. So let's do that. Cool. Thanks for watching this episode of Pitch Black Dungeon. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did as well. That's that's a kind thing to do, and it does help me. All right. See you next time.